tourniquet on. To store the soft tactical tourniquet, first ensure the safety screw is loosened slightly. Next, remove any slack remaining in the tourniquet base. Then fold the tourniquet strap under the base. Rotate the windlass a quarter turn and fold the tourniquet onto itself. When released, the tourniquet will open easily for application. For one-handed application of the soft tactical tourniquet, first open the tourniquet, exposing the loop of webbing. Grasp the running end of the webbing near the tourniquet buckle and slide the tourniquet over the injured extremity. Pull the webbing to remove all of the slack from the tourniquet and tighten it on the appendage. Twist the metal tourniquet handle or windlass until hemorrhage control has been achieved. To secure the handle, latch it into one of the two tri-rings on the tourniquet base. Tighten the safety screw to prevent accidental loosening of the tourniquet during tactical movement. Now watch full speed application of the soft tactical tourniquet. Severe extremity trauma may prevent you from slipping the tourniquet past the point of injury. In this situation, it is recommended that you first remove the webbing from the buckle. The tourniquet base can then be placed on the injured limb and the tourniquet strap can be routed around the extremity. The tourniquet strap can then be routed through the buckle and pulled until all slack is removed. The tourniquet handle is then twisted until hemorrhage control has been achieved. Upon achieving hemorrhage control, Lock one end of the tourniquet handle into the tri-ring. The final step is to tighten the safety screw. Here is a demonstration of full speed application of the soft tactical tourniquet. 